to show you a little bit of how to get around in guitar. Um, I'll show you that little lick there, it's nice. Okay, and there's a lot of different versions. There's a lot of different versions, lots of different versions. Now, this is, this is, uh, uh, it's out of tune. I keep on trying to tune it. I'm having problems with these gears back here. Okay. Uh, one day replace those gears or fix whatever the problem is. And I tried to fix it before. Thought I could. I think it's slipping right here. That's what it is. And okay. Okay, this is getting around on the instrument. You'll hear a lot of things that Chet Atkins and a lot of the other ones did. Okay, now, let me kind of go into that. Okay, this is a common blues. Okay, this is a common blues scale. It is a blues scale. And it's a, the one. Now, if I'm going to explain it to you, I want to explain it to you right. What would be, what would be um, the, if this is G, what would be the minor third of G? B flat, right? Because the third would be G, A, B, but it would be B flat. So you start there. Now, a common way guitarists do this is they go like this. And I've played one for about 50 years, on and off. And I've owned many, many guitars in my life. Okay? So this is a G. This is a B flat. It's way before, way before uh, internet was even thought of. Okay? Okay, I'm going to show you some kind of stuff. We'll just keep going on. You just can't hardly make a mistake right there. Okay. Now you're going to go here. You're going to hit. Uh, you're going to hit the uh, this note right here is a G. And then you're going to put your two. Put it kind of like that. So that's your first lick. Ba, ba. Now that I'm hitting these two notes here. So I'm hitting, if you want to know the notes I'm hitting, I'm hitting. Okay, I'm just doing a thumb here. It's kind of awkward. Okay. Ba, ba, da, ba. You can't hit it a couple times. Okay, so you... It's a very common blues lick. You can slide if you want. And that's very common there too. Okay, now that note right there, okay, we're in G, okay, so that's a very important note. So let's take a guess and say, okay, here's a blue, here's a jazz version, you know, okay, okay, that right there is an F and a, um, and a D, okay. It's got an F note and a D. And then we come back down if you want to, and you have uh, an E and a C. And then a B flat. Now let's go what the what the blue scale is and see if all this doesn't kind of start making sense. Okay, we're looking at the G blue scale. G blue scale is G B flat. Okay? C, D flat, and then uh, D, and then F, G, blue scale, four, G, one, flat, three, and it's always a four right below it. 
Here we go. This is a G, and this is a this is the uh, B flat, which is the minor third. Major third would be what you're flatting it. That's why it's called a flat three. And now we go to C, and that right there is the fourth of G. So you can, well, you hear that? That's a fourth. And that's a fourth, but if you come back down here, it's not so obvious, but this is your flat three. And you can kind of bend it up if you want. You kind of bend it. You kind of bend it up, you almost get this feel. And you do this right here, you get a little, you get this. Now, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to go from the, I'm going to go from this note, these two notes right here. Now, we're going to assume, been playing guitar for a little bit, while you have a chord here. And this has a G. So this is, now this would be one, three, five, root. Root, major third, five, eight, or one. Okay, one, major three, Five, call a perfect fifth, and eight or root. So you have root and root. Okay, a lot of tune. And then you have the the B, G A B. Remember G A B, G A B. And then your D, G A B C D. One, two, three, four, five. One, three. Five, okay now if I slide this through there and I'm just like that just grabbing you need a little bit of fingernails or something like just a little bit of fingernails or you know pluck them any way you can but you need to maybe your pick I'm just using fingernails there Okay, now that is like this. So we were going like this. So that's the first part of the lick. Now, and now you want to kind of slide. You, there's like probably, I don't know, hundreds. There's loads of ways this can be done, okay? Okay, now this right here, I'm sliding from an E. This note is an E. And this note is a D flat. Yeah, just the way it is. Okay, now when you slide from that, it doesn't sound very good there. But when you slide up here, now it starts making sense. Because you have a D and a minor third up from a D. This is why it's good to have a piano. A minor third up or three frets up is an uh, from a D is an F okay let me show you why D E F or I could say D I could say D sharp or E flat E F so D let's just go D E F okay that's minor okay so we're getting a minor sound Okay, so I'm, I'm getting the notes. Okay, I'm getting an F, which makes a dominant sound. It, a dominant, here's a G, by the way. Let's see. Out of tune. You don't mind, I'm going to tune my guitar. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I'm... Sliding here, two fingers right here, these these two here, and I'm sliding them, and I'm just, you know, just put, keep on doing that. You can just listen to somebody play it, or you can just pick it. Okay? You really, out of this guitar, you're not getting really good blues. Because any... But it's on you.